it's it's a tricky one, man. We we try to be super super consistent in, with our effort and our intent, uh, regardless of our opponent. I didn't think we were good enough that way for the first 25 minutes of the game or whatever it was. Uh, and so we we talked about that and uh, you know making sure that regardless of uh, the opponent, obviously. And I think Merrimack's a pretty good team, uh, you know, in terms of what they do and, and they have an identity. They're well coached. You know, they have a plan and. Uh, we obviously didn't execute very well at all in the first half, and, and they outplayed us. I thought uh, second half rolled around. I thought we did a better job uh, playing with more emotion, uh, playing with more effort, getting on the glass, controlling what we could control. We did a better job taking care of the ball, uh, imposing our, our will on them, and uh, you know it was just kind of reminding our team that hey, you know we have the capacity to be good, but we ain't there yet. You know, we got a lot of growth to do, and. Uh, the last 15 minutes of the game, you know, is, is more uh, a representation of what I want our team to be, obviously, as opposed to the first 25 minutes. And you were saying that how? Um, we need to do a better job rebounding. We need to do a better job <laughs> taking care of the basketball. We need to put the ball in the basket. Okay. No, I didn't re-aggravate anything. I, I just thought he was a little tentative out there. And, uh, you know, it was obviously great to have him back out there uh, and get him on the floor. but. You know, it didn't go well when he was in the game. I, I don't think that was specifically his fault. I think that was a little bit of the lineup that we had out there. Um, but, you know, I, I felt like we needed a little more oomph. And I felt like he was not like, he looked good, but he, he didn't have that same kind of burst that he normally has. And instead of, you know, risking rolling him out there again, I figured, you know, let's let these other guys go and see if we can if we can manage tonight. Not that Alex needs like a confidence boost or anything, but what can this game do for him, 12 and 16, double-double. Yeah. Double. No, it's, uh, I mean, he's one of the hardest playing dudes you can find. And, um, you know, he struggled in the first half finishing as well. And, uh, but to his credit, you know, to get nine offensive rebounds for the game, that he did a, a better job slowing down, made his free throws tonight, no turnovers, which has been an issue for him uh, over the course of the year. And listen, this guy's gonna be a really good player in our program for a long time. And, uh, you know, uh, just really proud of him. and. Thomas, for that matter, you know, both freshmen, they combined for 27 rebounds tonight. How much did... It was a big part of our victory. How much did Walter spark that run you guys went on in the second half? It just, huge. You know, hit some big shots, man, big shots. And, and again, in these tight games, you know, you're, you're down one halftime and you get, you get a little four-point run to start the second half and then you give them five or four, whatever it was. Um, you know, it's always, it's always nice when somebody steps up and becomes a little bit of a separator. And I thought he did a really good job. Uh, first of all, putting the ball in the basket early in the second half and then, you know, hitting some big threes that allow us to separate from them.